it's time for the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by the Big Chili Magazine, where in this issue they have a great article titled Taking Dining to New Heights. It's an article about a new dining experience near Prompong BTS Station in Bangkok. The dining place has one table with 22 seats, and it serves a four-course meal from Sheridan Grand Sukhumvit. Look for the article in the latest Big Chili magazine, in their app, or at www.thebigchili.com. So we just finished off week four. In our first game of the night, we had Aware going head-to-head with Hertz. Aware coming into this game after losing a rough one to Expedia 5-1. to To go with that, their goaltender, Gabor Toth, decided to step down and become a substitute goaltender. They'll need their top guys, Poo Suichirat, Yin Tang Krokriat, Ryan Yadin, and Ollie Moyes to step it up. For this game against Hertz, they'll have Patrick Leduc between the pipes. Hertz are coming off a big win against the Sukhumvit Spitfires last week. For them to build on this win, they'll need to continue playing as a team and to not fall apart after the opposing team scores two goals. They'll also need their netminder, Lance Parker, to remain strong between the pipes. Things really went back and forth in the first period of this one, with both teams getting a few scoring opportunities. At 12.20 of the first period, Aware finally opened this one up with a goal from Devin Michael, with the assist going to Ollie. Just over a minute later, Yoni Hainonen scored an unassisted goal to put Aware up by two. Just a minute after that, Aware get their third unanswered goal of the game, with David Bohr putting one in the net, with Yoni getting the assist. Just over a minute into the second period, Hertz finally answered back with a goal from Mu Tengsakul, which was assisted by Brendan Vick. Two minutes later, Yoni gets his second unassisted goal of the night to put Aware up 4-1. to one. Less than a minute later, Ali adds another to Aware's total with the assist coming from Ryan and David. With eight and a half minutes left in the period, Alistair gets an unassisted goal for Hertz to try to keep them in the game. With just under six minutes left in the period, Mungkor Sukwibun is called for tripping. Aware did a great job of killing off the first minute of this penalty, but then, at 4.52, Kim Lidberg of Hertz notched his second goal in just as many games, with the assist going to Champ Supadililuk. Less than a minute into the third period, Aware scored their sixth goal of the night, Devon's second, with the assist going to Tor Chartsuan. Five minutes into the third period, Tor is called for tripping, but Aware kept up their penalty-killing ways and prevented Hertz from getting many scoring opportunities. So far, for this season, Aware have been able to kill off 6 of 7 penalties, which is the second best in the league. With less than 2 minutes left in the game, Henrik Olofsson of Aware netted Aware's 7th and final goal of the night, with the assist going to David Bohr. The final score of the game was Aware 7, Hertz 3, with Aware getting the advantage in shots 31-28. to The star of the game for Hertz went to great substitute player Jarek Dolder for his outstanding play in the game. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Yoni for his two goals and one assist, and I had a chance to chat with him after the game. I have the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Yoni Hainonen. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, two goals and an assist? Uh, Today, I think uh, we had a very good line. We played uh, nice Finnish hockey. (laughs) We played Finnish hockey today, nice passes. I should score score at least five today, yeah. <laughs> oh, so so good, uh, so good uh, guys in, in my line today, yeah. Excellent. I mean, so when you got that assist, what was going through your head? You finally, when you, finally, finally. <laughs> like I told you before, that I I, uh, I I like to pass. I like uh, I like to pass. It's it's nice to I love to give nice pass. It's 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 nicer than make a goal, you know. So I, I finally I got some uh, some assist. So I. That was good. Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks. Thank you. In our second game of the night, we had the Sukhumvit Spitfires facing off against Expedia. The Sukhumvit Spitfires are on a two-game losing streak, with losing their last game to Hertz five to two. For them to win this one, they'll need to shake off this big loss and get back to the basics. They'll need their top scorer Harrison Ace Otsmelt to keep putting the puck in the net. But they'll also need Ernesto Bauer, Tan Limpipet, and Adrian Myers to start putting the puck in the net as well. Expedia are hot right now, winning their last two games with a huge 11-1 blowout win over Hertz and a dominating 5-1 win over Aware. To keep up this win streak, they'll need their top goal scorer, Jordan Sharpshooter Ashton, to keep putting the puck in the net as well as their top assistmen, 
Yohani playmaker Iaz to keep feeding the scorers. This game had a lot of eyes on it as Expedia goaltender Yves Gabarro had been scratched. He is being replaced than none other than Pop Uncle Patsunuk, Spitfire's goalie Dream Uncle Patsunuk's sister. Things were really tight between both teams to start this one off, and both teams looked really solid with sharp passes and great playmaking. And both teams had some really good scoring opportunities. Just over 10 minutes into the first period, the Spitfires' Tommy Hockenan was called for hooking, but the Spitfires did a great job of killing this penalty off and limiting the scoring opportunities of Expedia. With just four and a half minutes left in the period, Adrian is called for tripping, and 15 seconds into the Spitfires' penalty kill, the sharpshooter nets his 10th goal of the season, with the playmaker notching his 6th assist of the season. The Spitfires came out in the second period fired up, and ready to tie this one up, and just under 5 minutes into the second period, Ernesto scores an unassisted goal to tie it up one all. Things really went back and forth again in the second period, with both teams getting some great scoring opportunities, but Dream and Pop were walls for the remainder of the second period. Just over 3 minutes into the third period, Chap Covetea of Expedia scores his first goal of the season, with assists going to win Kokao. One minute later, Remo Nefenegar of Expedia was called for holding. Expedia did an outstanding job of killing off this penalty, making this their fifth penalty kill out of six attempts. The final score of the game had Expedia topping the Spitfires 2-1 with the shots tied at 23. The star of the game for the Spitfires went to Adrian for breaking up quite a few plays at the Spitfires blue line as well as leading quite a few rushes. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Pop for her outstanding play between the pipes, stopping 22 of 23 shots, and had a chance to talk with her after the game. I have the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, (laughs) Pop. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow, great game. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, like, my first game of this tournament, this league. league. Yeah, this league. So what was it like going against your brother? Oh, it's very hard. I think you guys know that he's really nice. Yeah, and, but my team is very nice, better than them. <laughs> How's it feel to beat your brother? Um, very nice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, because everybody know that he's good. He's a good goalie. Yes, and play again, he make me feel like I may, I, I gonna lose today. <laughs> yes, but I won. Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Our Week 5 games will be on December 14th. In our first game, at 8.30, we have Expedia going head-to-head with Hertz. Expedia are hot right now, winning their last three games. They are tied in first place with Aware with four wins and two losses. For them to continue winning, they'll not only need their sharpshooter to keep putting pucks in the net, but they'll also need John Signofsky to do so as well. Hertz are really struggling this year with only winning one of the last six games. One of the things they need to do is put a full lineup on the ice. They'll also need to come together as a team like they did when they played the Sukhumvit Spitfires. In our second game of the night at 9.30, we have the Spitfires facing off against the Aware. The Spitfires have been on a three-game losing streak, and to break this, they'll need to show more of what they did on December 3rd, which is to play strong defensively, stopping quite a few rushes in the neutral zone. They'll also need their top pointsman, Ernesto Bauer, to keep adding points to his total, as well as eights to Otztemel to keep putting the puck in the net. Aware had a solid game on December 3rd, and they'll need to keep this up. They had Patrick in the net for them the last time out, and he looks strong. And he will need to really shine against the Spitfires. They'll also need their top guys, Ollie, Ryan, Yoni, Pooh, Devin, and Yeen, to really step it up. That's all for this week, and I'll see you at the rink. The opposite was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. You can find the Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.